Hello everyone, this is Jonathan from JRC. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to read from digital and analog sensors. So I used for this example, two kinds of sensors. One is a digital sensor and the other one is an analog sensor. The first digital sensor is a rain sensor that is connected to digital pin seven. And the second analog sensor is a grayscale sensor that is connected to analog pin A0. So we start by identifying the global variables that we have before the void setup. So we can use them in all of our program. This is done by writing int, which is an integer. We name the sensor rain sensor equal seven. This shows that the, the sensor of the rain is connected to the digital pin seven. Then we write int gs sensor equal a0. This shows that the grayscale sensor is connected to the pin analog a0. Then in the voice setup, we write serial.begin to start the serial communication that we are going to use later to print the values of the sensor using the serial.print function. And then we write pin mode, rain sensor, which is the digital sensor input. This sets the mode of the digital pin seven to input. So why we used a pin mode for the digital sensors and we didn't use it for the analog sensors. As you can see here, we put the pin mode of the digital pin seven as input because it's connected to a sensor, which shows that it is an input. However, we didn't put the pin mode of uh, the analog sensor because it is an input by default. So we only put pin mode for digital pins and not for analog pins. So we go to void loop now, which is the main code that will uh, run repeatedly. There we identify new integers, which are the values of the sensors. So we name them rain, rain sensor value and grayscale sensor value. The first integer, which is rain sensor value equal digital read rain sensor, which is the name of the rain sensor that is connected to pin seven. So we read from the rain sensor using the digital read uh, function and we put the value of the digital read function in a new integer, which is rain sensor value. On the other side, to read from an analog uh, pin, we use analog read and we put the name of the pin that we just created, which is a GS sensor. So GS sensor value equal analog read GS sensor. This function reads the value of the GS sensor, which is connected to pin A0 and then puts it in a value which is called GS sensor value. So now to display the value of the sensors, we write serial.print ln. The ln here is to start a new line after printing each value. As you can see here, we didn't put quotations because we want to print the values inside the range sensor value and not the word itself. So now this function will read uh, from the range sensor put it in rain sensor value and then print it on the serial monitor. And then after uploading the code to your Arduino board, you can see the value of the rain sensor using the serial monitor function, which is on the upper right corner. If you liked this video and found it informative, don't hesitate to click on the subscribe button for more upcoming Arduino tutorials. Have a great day.